Hello Vinyl community. Another look at my daily playlist and uh, today I want to start with something a little bit crazier than usual which is uh, Francis Lai's soundtrack to the movie Bilities. And yeah, it's a bit of a mad choice but um, I think uh, the cringeworthy stuff is part of life as well I guess. And um, and this is of course an extremely cheesy music to an extremely cheesy film but from time to time I kind of like the crazy stuff maybe you could call it uh, a guilty pleasure but I can promise to you that I do not listen to this more often than once in five years so this is a nice double album a compilation I found this on a flea market not long ago and uh, it's a uh, nicely curated uh, selection of Irish folk songs of Irish folk bands from the early 80s so you have uh, the Dubliners on it the Fury Brothers and Davy Arthur the Bothy Band and the Wolf Tones and everyone gets one side which is always nice and uh, yeah it's a good sound I'm not listening uh, to Irish folk music that often but when I do it's always a nice experience. This stuff here came out on uh, on Chime Records so um, let's have a look at the, at the Chime label and uh, so uh, this is very this is a nice uh, compilation that uh, kind of archives the state of matters in Irish folk music around 1982 or 1983. So this one is probably well known to some. Ricochet by Tangerine Dream, their live album. Although I would argue that uh, in case of Tangerine Dream the the separation between studio albums and live albums is sort of a gray area um, so it doesn't sound as uh, live album sound in, with rock bands you do have some uh, bit of clapping at the beginning but uh, then it all becomes the typical Tangerine Dream sound it's very ambient -y. Uh, yeah, Camel, Moon Madness, well-known uh, progressive rock album from mid-70s. Comes with a nice big inlay with a huge picture. So this came out on Nova. So, uh, just the Nova label. And I really like this album. But I basically like everything that Camel did. It's a nice... Uh, melodic uh, Canterbury sounding prog rock and finally this one which is the first album by Renaissance this came out I think 1969 didn't it 69 69 I can't see it anywhere maybe yeah 1969 true so um, it's came out on island now, uh, Renaissance uh, is of course a prog rock project that uh, went through some significant changes during the 70s. So, uh, if you look at this, is one of those bands that uh, started as something and uh, turned out to be something completely different. So, uh, the second half of the 70s era of Renaissance is completely different lineup, and uh, for my taste, I prefer the later albums by Renaissance. But this here, well, it's their debut album and it's uh, certainly filled with interesting ideas. And uh, uh, so there is a strong effort to leave uh, any kind of uh, pop trivia. Um, I mean, uh, some of the stuff the piano player is doing is basically just... Uh, self-indulgent show off but um, yeah that's what you get sometimes with uh, with pro bands 
It is certainly not my favorite album by Renaissance, but they recorded this in 69 and it's full of interesting and bold ideas. Um, so um, it's certainly an interesting album in terms of uh, pushing the musical envelope. So that's it for today, but um, I've made it a habit to show you one or two CDs at the end. So this time something completely different and quite fascinating. This is a collaboration work of uh, Stephen Stapleton and David Tibet called The Sadness of Things, which came out here on CD somewhat 25 years ago. Now, of course, Steve Stapleton is Nurse with Wound and David Tibet is current 93. And what they created here is a two-track album, which is basically a ambient, dark ambient uh, excursion. Well, that quite defies any description. So this is quite fascinating, dark, very eerie music, very minimalistic, um, in parts lyrical, and uh, certainly a nice piece in my CD collection. And that's it for now. So uh, see you next time and um, have a nice day.